going to be a bit of an angry rant video. Got something that made me very angry from the bank. Let me show it to you right now. So here we have it. It says your card now supports contactless transactions. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, even though Maine was hacked, the state of Maine was hacked not long ago, the entire state and all the personal information was stolen and everything. But hey, let's go forward with this and say let's make these new contactless cards. My card uh, expires in March. And here's my uh, Visa Business Debit Card Agreement. It's a business card, by the way. Remember that. This is the agreement that they sent me. I didn't sign for this. I didn't you know, give any kind of verbal signature or, or verbal okay to this or anything else. But look at this. Security measures. We have established the following as security measures in order to protect you. Of course, we're going to keep you safe. When, peace and, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Uh, yeah. You acknowledge and agree that these security measures are reasonable and are designed in part to satisfy your business needs. We have established it. You acknowledge. No, I didn't acknowledge. I didn't give my consent for this. See this? You acknowledge that you are liable for the payment of transactions using your VBDCs, the uh, bank debit card thing, the Visa business debit card, um, and assign pins, whether authorized or unauthorized. You acknowledge that you are liable for unauthorized transactions. Isn't that interesting? I am, I am acknowledging this. I didn't acknowledge anything of the kind. I never signed anything. I never gave any kind of verbal thing. They called me up and said, did you read the contract, sir? Do you hereby, you know, no, there wasn't anything at all. This is completely illegal. Termination amendments and notices. We may terminate the usage of, or, of any or all of your VBDCs at any time. Sounds like we have a central, central uh, bank digital currency thing here. Social credit score. They already are implementing it, in other words. You may use your card to complete the following point of sale transactions up to an agree aggregate total of five five thousand dollars per day. I'm limited to five thousand dollars per day. Something I've never even signed up for. I never gave any consent of this, and they say you acknowledge it. Isn't that nice? I acknowledge certain changes to my account. I acknowledge certain things. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't acknowledge any of that stuff. I am not for any of that. But the bank, oh, we've decided for, this is for your safety. Um, you're uh, incapable of taking care of your own finances and whatever else, so we'll just take care of things. And I mean, it's been getting worse and worse since 9-11. If you remember the whole thing of the Patriot Act and they started to take our your checks at that time, your personal checks, and they would keep them, you used to get them back, and canceled checks. And um, they started to take them and uh, and then you'd get, you know, they just would give you a little photo scanned image of your check. Nice. But uh, it's been getting worse and worse. Banks are criminal. That's what you have to understand. They don't have your money in there. They spend it. Um, just absolutely horrifying. And so, hey, as more hackers come around and more people take money and hack into accounts and take all your personal information and everything else, hey, that's okay because we're going to make the card that you use less secure. We're going to have this card that basically can be hacked into. If it's got any kind of Wi-Fi capability to it, they can hack it. I mean, it's insanity. But, uh, you know, we have to go forward because technology is our God and uh, we will trust technology with our lives and we will swear fealty and obedience to technology. But, I mean, imagine if this thing was reversed. I go into the bank and I say, yes, I'm here for my million dollars. They say, what are you talking about? Well, I sent you a letter, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't you receive that? Well, yes, we received it. And it said in there that uh, you acknowledge that you're going to give me a million dollars. They'd say, well, sir, that's not legal. We didn't sign anything. We didn't, we didn't say any kind of uh, consent to this thing. You just made it up. That's what they're doing. Sir, you acknowledge these changes that we're making to your account. Um, no, I didn't sign anything, you know, and I mean, obviously you could take this type of a thing to court, but they would just waste all your time and waste all of your money and there'd be no point to it. But that's where banking is right now.
But uh, think about this. I have a business checking account. And if I need something with my business that's more than $5,000, well, I don't have the bank's permission. There's now a limit on what I can do. You say, but it's your money. That's exactly correct. But here's the point. It's not really my money. That's why they can limit how much I can spend. And you need to check into this stuff for yourself. This is why I'm doing this video, because you need to understand how corrupt the banking system is. And if you have all your money in the bank, woe to you. Woe to you, because the first Great Depression, they confiscated people's money. They just sat on it. They just took it. They said, well, I'm sorry, we have a crisis right now. A, um, <clears throat> a what do they call it, emergency, you know, War Powers Act type of a thing here. And uh, so, I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't going to be able to get your money out. Sorry about that. Just temporarily, of course, we'll, we'll restore all of your rights eventually. You know, just like they did with 9-11, you know. We have to do some things that some people aren't going to like. Don't worry, it will eventually come back. You'll be fine. Everything will be okay. Never came back. Uh, you give up your rights, they never give it back. But, um, <clears throat> so now I'm stuck with this situation where if I want to spend more than $5,000, I guess I have to go in and bow before their feet or something. And if I have a, a bad social credit score, huh, um, maybe I won't be able to take out the money. Maybe they'll tell me no. I remember when I bought the uh, stupid little tracker that we bought, that Chevy tracker, uh, went in there and it was $7,000 is what we spent on the thing. Um, and I said, I need to do a wire transfer. That's how I paid for it at the dealership, $7,000. And uh, went in and, and man, just like I was trying to pull teeth, you know, uh, well, are you sure about this? Are you, we're, you know, making sure here, just have to make sure and get to sign here and do all this other, are you sure? Because we can't be held liable for this, you know, because you see, again, understand, I am an unsecured depositor. So are you if you're in the bank. What does that mean? Well, see, they have the FDIC behind their deposits and their money, in theory, at least in theory. You say, but that's behind my money too. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. That's why, because they can only cover about 1% of the total deposits in America right now. That's why you're an unsecured depositor. So if you lose the money or something, or if the money's lost, then they can't, there's nothing to insure my money in there. So again, like I was saying earlier, it's just like a credit card. The credit card says you can only spend 5,000 a day because it's our money, you're borrowing from us. Well, the bank now is saying that about my personal bank account. You can only have $5,000 a day. Why? Is it my money? No, I'm an unsecured depositor. And look it up, I'm not joking about any of this stuff. That's literally what you are if you have money in the bank. You are an unsecured depositor. It's horrifying. So some of you people out there, if you have all your life savings in the bank and whatever, and oh, it's completely secure, oh boy, you might have a shock coming. But um, just needed to put this video out just because it's so, such a vexing, horrible thing to see this. And um, you know, uh, could probably go and get another bank account someplace or maybe get a federal credit union type of a thing or credit union type of a thing. But, um, you know, the banking system right now, brethren, it's far from being uh, in good shape. Um, it's going to crash. The dollar is having serious problems. And if you think it's going to be fixed by a central bank digital currency, the FedNow program, it's going to get 10 times worse. Uh, what they want is they want us all to be poor. That's what they want. They want us to be uh, neo-feudalism, feudal serfs. We don't have the right to spend money on certain things. They will tell us what we should spend our money on. You have no right to do that because you're not educated. And the money is, it's our money. It's not the money of the people, you know. So, just an angry rant here. I, I mean, I just cannot believe this. Forcing me to have, I mean, I wasn't for the little chip card thing or whatever else when that thing came out. Voiced my opposition to it. Oh yes, sir, I know, sir. But all the banks are doing it, so, you know, you're going to do it or not, whatever, you know. So um, this just forces me into using cash more, which is fine. I've tried to do that as much as I can anyhow. But, uh, you know, I mean, think of the scams that are going to come out. 
with this whole thing. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's incredible. The, if, if hackers can hack the entire state of Maine, which they did, like I said, what's going to stop them from walking around with little devices or something or whatever and just kind of walk up behind you and where your wallet's at, just kind of get within an inch or two or something and, bloop, you know, you know, nothing to see here. Get in there and hack your your special new RFID, you know, Wi-Fi card. I mean, brilliant, real good idea. So, it makes us long for heaven that much more, doesn't it? You know, uh, it's it's a weird thing because the married man cares for the things of the world, how he may please his wife. I have a wife, I have a son that I need to take care of, and this is going to make it a lot more difficult. If any provide not for his own, especially for they have his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Well, unfortunately, Lord, sorry to tell you, but as you well know, you know more than we do, um, they're limiting what I can spend. Um, and I, you know, I'll try to do a check, I guess, if it's some bigger purchase or something. And, and um, those of us that are debt free, I can't go out and take out a mortgage or whatever else. I was going to try to get a house, but now that's, I guess, going to fall through because um, how could I trust putting all my money in the bank? I'd probably put a huge, uh, you know, amount in a bank or whatever, transfer some money over and, and, uh, not that I have a huge amount of money, don't get me wrong, but you know, any kind of amount that I put in there, um, uh, we're very sorry, Mr. Denlinger. Um, sorry for the inconvenience. We know that this might be very upsetting to you, but you know, you can't access your money right now, sir, because you see your money is going to be used to finance uh, people in the area that you don't agree with. Or there's somebody in the state of Maine that uh, isn't quite sure if they're a man or a woman, but they want to know, they know that they want to read uh, storybooks to children or something like this, and they need money, so we're going to lend them your deposit. Because it's not really yours anymore, it's, it's actually ours now. And we deem it to be safe and effective. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I just, I cannot fathom this, I cannot believe this. It is so insane. I mean, I actually had done a purchase a little while ago and uh, tried to do a purchase rather. And um, and it was declined and I thought, okay, I have plenty of money in the bank. What's going on here? Oh, well, you went over your uh, limit, your spending limit. I go, what? <laughs> huh? And now I get the papers saying that, you know, by using our system, you have acknowledged it. Okay, and uh, I guess if I say too much, I'll be deemed an arch heretic and then they'll just cancel my account for no reason, no legal reason. We're not to trust in uncertain riches, brethren. Yea, let God be true and every man a liar, as it is written. God's word is truth. All you dumb bunnies out there that attack the King James Bible and Actually, it's not really, it's just a translation. It's not really a good translation. You're rather stupid, okay? The Word of God, the King James Bible, has been proven to be absolutely correct time and time again. Uh, supposedly the most archaic Bible in common usage. And yet, it's exactly true to what's going on today. You can live the Word of God. So that's going to be it for this video. Just a little rant video here ticked off about this whole thing um, please do read the different contracts and things with it that you have with your bank look and see what these people are doing without your permission without your written or express permission you're not saying anything you're not writing anything you didn't sign up they're just doing it uh, please do check into it please be careful with your money in the bank okay that's going to be it see you in the next video